The COVID-19 pandemic has affected Kenya's food systems directly through impacts on food supply and demand and indirectly through decreased capacity to produce and distribute food. In response to that, the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Cooperatives is addressing food supply chain and nutrition challenges through the establishment of one million kitchen gardens in rural and urban households. Through these one million kitchen gardens, the ministry is contributing to the Big Four agenda on the 100% food and nutrition security by enabling households to maintain a healthy diet. The ministry is supporting vulnerable households with kitchen garden starter kits that are simple, space and water efficient. So far, the first phase of the project has supported over 200,000 households through the KSAP, NARIG and CVAP projects. In phase two, the ministry will support an additional 200,000 vulnerable households in setting up their own kitchen gardens. We are here today at uh, the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, Kilimo House, uh, we, where we have the model uh, kitchen garden uh, demonstration site, where we set up all the technologies that uh, all households are able to adapt to, to be able to give them not only knowledge, but also be able to, you know, give them the instructions, you know, step-by-step -step guidance on how to set up these gardens. There are several incredible ideas through which one can establish a simple, space and water efficient kitchen garden using locally available materials. They include the corn garden, the multi-story garden, the micro garden, tire garden, moist bed garden, the weak irrigation garden and the simple drip irrigation garden. In this video, we will take a look at micro-gardening, which can be described as farming in containers on small spaces like balconies, yards, patios, and rooftops. Different kinds of containers can be used such as recycled bottles, wooden shelves, plastic buckets, basins, trash cans, bowls, cement bags, and so much more. Micro-gardens are very popular among women the elderly and the physically challenged since their cultivation requires less physical effort. Our technology for today is micro gardens using two liter bottles. So when you want to grow micro gardens using two liter bottles, you will you'll make sure you have your uh, bottles ready. So what do we require when we want to do the two liter bottles? We require the bottles themselves. We require the ceilings, we require binding wire or thread, cobbler's thread, because it's stronger. And then we require scissors, we require manure, we require soil, and also we require some ballast, because the ballast will be used to fill the holes of the bottle in case they don't have the, the tops. And also now you require yourself, the labor, you require water, and then you require a hammer and nails. So once you've gotten everything you need, the two liter bottle can be done anywhere. It can even be done, hanged in the, the live trees in your compound. So today we have our structure, which you can, it's a, it's a simple structure. It is like a, a cross or uh, you can call it, it is like a cross or a plus so that you, are, you will hang them from there. So once you have all your materials, you've constructed your structure or if you are hanging in the tree, you know where you are going to hang them you are ready to go. So you get your two, your two liter bottle, you prepare it, and we shall show you how you prepare it. You will cut the bottle at the top, just a small piece, you will cut the, the whole top, just to create space for where you put, where the soil, the crop will be planted. So once you have your cut, now you will make holes where you will put your string. You make sure that at the center where you've cut, the hole should be, from the center, just like what is done, and then the other side you make the hole. Oh, the holes are for putting the string in because they are hanging. Once you've made your, your holes, the bottle is, is ready. So we want to put the, the string, the string or the binding wire. Today we shall be using the binding wire. 
So it depends on how many bottles you want to put. Like today, we shall use three bottles on one string and two bottles on another string just to show you how they should alternate when you are putting the strings down. So you need to cut the binding wire. The spacing between one bottle and another, when you hang them, should be 30 centimeters. And then the spacing from the top to the first bottle should also be another 30 centimeters. So we shall cut for three, and then we shall cut for two as we add the space for the binding wire. I uh, will measure with a tape measure. So we shall do one centi 20, so hold there. Hold the line, yes. And then you fold. Fold the line. Fold the nini, the binding wire at 120, yeah. And then you cut using your pliers. And you will require two, two of this. You will require two of this. So he has to cut another one of 120 centimeters so that he puts through the other hole. And now you put, you measure 30 centimeters, you put the next bottle. This one, what we shall do, we shall finish it with the thread. So make a knot, we, we use a thread. Then we use the thread to hang it. No, don't put, uh, put like the thread. Sasa. This is how it hangs. So that is your first line. Our second line, now let's say we are doing two lines, three lines, four lines. They have to keep alternating. So our second line, now this one, if it's 30 centimeters, the next, our second line will be 45 centimeters down. So that when you are coming, the second line, the first bottle will start from here, not from here. It will start from the center, but it's also 30 centimeters from the first bottle to the next bottle. So our second bottle could be around here, but when you are coming down, it will be in between here. Yes. And then if you are making a third line now, the first bottle will be now 30 centimeters from up. Yes, that is how you go. You keep on alternating them. So we shall do the second line. So once you get, you've gotten your measurements right, you just cut them, measure until. This one we shall be doing two bottles, so we won't go so far. Then we shall fold. Now you start folding from up, 30 centimeters. Now bring a tape measure. Forty-five. So you fold now. You you turn it. You tie. You tie it now. So you make the knot. Then you put your other bottle. You can even use this one to help you guide to guide you to get to the center because it's something you can easily move. It is not a problem. So once you get to the center, provided it's at the center like that, and then you, you tie the knot. Now we bring it, because it's moving to our 30, and then we put the soil. Just feel. You can use a small tool, because this is something very small, you can use a small tool for filling. So, you fill it with a soil mixture of pressure of one to one, that is manure one, soil one. Once you filled it, now this one's because the, the soil the soil depth is shallow. You can't plant deep-rooted crops there, but you can plant lettuce and you can plant your onions there. And spices, if you like spices, you can plant your spices in the bottles. Then you water it gently. You can use your hands so that it doesn't, the water doesn't pour water in one space. Right, after watering, now you can plant. We plant, we shall plant the lettuce. We have some. Thyme, and then we have some sage, and then we have some onions, spring onions. So you just make your host two, you put two in each, just like that. So it will spread and it will just hang. So you have your spices, and then if there are some vegetables there, the lettuce, you have your lettuce, and other lines you can add. Maybe here we shall have dania, like that. Our appeal to the viewers that may be watching this is, you know, see something and implement. 
This is how we collectively contribute to food and nutrition security when each and every household is able to produce safe food within the confines of their homes. From this tutorial, it is our hope that you will be able to establish your own kitchen garden and enjoy a constant supply of fresh, nutritious vegetables, fruits and spices for you and your family. In case you need more information, kindly log on to www.kilimo.go.ke.